Right. In this video, we are now going to be joining our session. So in the previous video, we looped through all of our sessions that we found, and we simply printed out the amount of them. Well, now we're going to take it a little farther, and if a result was found, we're simply going to join the first result. And that's going to show us how we can actually go through and join a session of our choosing based on anything that we want to do necessarily, such as the server list if we click on a specific one. We can join that session based on the info given. So let's go ahead and get started. Let's see here. We can, we need to bind a delegate. So session interface on join. So we have our on join session complete delegate dot add u object. This u tutorial game instance, then we need a function to bind it to. So I want to do another one, virtual void on join session complete. Then we need the parameters it takes in. So let's find it on join session complete delegates, takes in f name and then enum. So the enum resulted in type. So we're going to store that in a variable called result. So we're going to do f name. Uh, if I recall, this is for the session name. Then the enum, which is e on join session complete, e on join session complete result, type result. Let's create that definition and bind our delegate to it. So on join session complete, and it is now bound. So what we can do now is check if there is a result and all that kind of information, like if it's greater than zero. So if search results dot num, meaning it's not zero, it's one, then we will join the session. So we're going to, again, use the session interface that's used for just about everything related to this. So session interface, join session, local user ID, just zero, then the session name. So in our case, it's what we used for creating the server, which is just my session. So we're going to use that for now. Then F line, yeah, F online session search result. So in our case, this is search results. We're going to access the first index, so meaning the first result. So we now have that done. This can be any number you want. That's why we hold the index pretty much based on what we, um, what you call it, like we would store our search results, which we already have inside of session search, access a specific element of the array, and join that assuming it's valid of course. I right. want to move our log right above that real quick and print out another log that says joining. Joining server then one that's for the function. So control shift B to compile and let's make sure this fires. We're probably going to have a couple errors because, again, we're not using the Steam subsystem right now. We're using Null, but we have it kind of set up to be using Steam as well. We don't want to have anything telling it necessarily not to. So I want to create a server. Good to go there. Get rid of this guy. Join a server, which is this one. So join server fired. Join a server. On join session complete. So we now we're able to join the session. So let's close both of these down and join it. So what we can do here is we need our player controller. Then we do client travel on that player controller to. Oh 
what what is it? I'm trying to think. Anyways, it's you gameplay six six. So if a player controller p controller equals u gameplay. I do not have that included. Include u. Gameplay statistics dot h equals u gameplay statistics get player controller index well get world index being zero. The reason we're using this for now is because we're on the client and as well as heck we're even on the main menu. So index of zero for the player controller is always going to be our own. So we're safe there. Then we can do p controller server travel i mean client travel we can see the url then the travel type and everything else so i'm not entirely sure so i want to print out session name real quick and see if that's it name dot to string and just see what that holds see if that holds the uh, pretty much what we need to connect so launch two of these so that create server throw it to this guy join server look at the log wait take a drink of water All right, so that's just the session name. That's not what we want. So it's probably stored inside of the result. So let's look. So result dot. Oh yeah, that was really helpful. Let's see. I'm trying to think. All right, I'm gonna cheat because I've done this before. Ah, so it's stored in the session interface. That explains it. It's based on the session name. So f string joint address equals session interface get resolve connection string. Takes in two conditions, the search result or the session name. In our case, we're just using the session name. So session name. And connection info. What exactly would that be? Connection info. Apply for more specific. I don't think that's needed. Nope, you're needed. What was the parameter? Join address. Oh, what it outputs to. Yeah, it outputs to the join address. Then we can connect to the join address. So next param, e travel type, travel absolute. Now we'll do a quick test if join address does not equal just an empty string, then we will join it. So I want to set it equal to an empty string for safety. Make sure we're going to go, even though I think they already take care of that. But if that's all valid, we're going to connect and we're going to join that session. Close the windows. Client 2. I'm going to create the server on this guy. Come over here. I'm going to join the server on this guy. Wait for the logs, and everything went through, just like so. And like I said, I 
kind of just poorly replicated this stuff, so you can still see them. But yeah, we can see each other moving. We know that we're in each other's sessions. So we know that we are good to go. Oh, God, that animation is so wonky. I don't get why they moved them 90 degrees. But yeah, we are now able to join our sessions. So let's reiterate what we have done. So once our find sessions is completed, just like we did before, we're going to do it a little bit differently. We're going to test and see if the amount of results found is greater than zero by this check here. And if that's the case, we're going to join the first index that we found. Because we're testing on LAN, this is going to indicate that it's us. If you're doing something over the internet, you're probably going to have a server browser of some sort or something like that, that you would end up going by, or a matchmaking system. So what we can do as well inside of here is, if that's the case, we call join session. Now we bound a delegate to join session that fires when it's completed, right here. So we set to fire was on set on join session complete. Once join session is done its thing, in which case we get our player controller, we get the address to join to, and then we simply client travel to that address, which essentially just connects us to the server. And that's pretty much it. So that's how you host join sessions and stuff like that using the online subsystem. Uh, because I said we will be using Steam, we will be making a tutorial on how to do that. That will be the next video, which will be just a slight alteration, because like I said, we are going to be using Steam, so I have to make sure on my other computer that I have a Steam account set up and logged in and everything so I can. But yeah, that's all there is to it. I will see you in that one.